This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon. So what I want you guys to do, and I'm going to do it on my phone, you take 100, which is the 100% of your senses that you normally would get, and then you divide it by 15, which is you get 15% off per person that you tell on, and you get 6.6666667. That's what you get. Welcome back to the All Gale Kingpins YouTube channel where we talk about confidential informants. If it's your first time bumping into the channel in the video, consider giving us a chance, watch the entire video. And if you like what you hear, make sure you binge watch all the old videos and make sure you smash that like button because with the YouTube algorithm in order for us to get this message out and information out to more people, we need to have more people liking the video. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. So on this video, we still talking about the 5k1 downward departure and i told you guys in the last video that i'm gonna tell you guys how per, how much percent you get off per what you tell so now this is well, once again for my phone this is the 5k11 motion this motion if made by the government and granted by the judge usually results in a two-level reduction in the sentence roughly equivalent to a 15% reduction in the length of the sentence imposed. Let's pull out our calculators. So now, you know it only takes off 15% of your time. So that's just on one case. That's my thoughts. I assume it's one case and you get one person indicted or convicted, you only get 15% off. And you get 15% off the more people. So what I want you guys to do, and I'm gonna do it on my phone, you take 100, which is the 100% of your senses that you normally would get, and then you divide it by 15, which is you get 15% off per person that you tell on, and you get 6.6666667. So they got to tell on 6.666 people, but you know it ain't a 0.66 person, so therefore they have to tell on seven people to fully get out of their sentence. Now, I showed you guys in a video how informers multiply. I used the number five, and I used that for a specific reason because I knew the number was higher. I wanted to give you guys an understanding of the benefit of the doubt a little bit, you know? Because if you see, oh man, a one person get five, and then in 60 years, it'll be like this. But when one person actually gets seven, the numbers are astronomically higher. Think about it, do the math. So people have to tell on seven people in order for them to get out now granted everybody don't have to tell on seven people and granted the judge like i said accepted by the judge so if the judge don't approve it the judge can say no i don't feel like that's enough evidence i don't feel like they told enough i think that they know more than they actually telling so they need to tell more and then we'll consider you know if it's substantial assistance or not because they define substantial assistance not you not the defendant the courts the judge the prosecutors they have to be okay with what you said. The judge and the prosecutor have to feel okay with what you said. And if they feel that what you said actually can get them an indictment or a conviction, then that's substantial evidence. But if you just tell them stuff and that they already know or stuff that don't lead to a conviction, won't work. I'm, I'm saying this to say this. You guys got to understand that this is why I say it's a lot of informants in the world because you can't tell on just one person and then your charges just go away. Let me explain you guys the steps. Po you, you do a crime, police get you. Police get you, case go to the prosecutor, prosecutor take the case to the judge, the judge make the decision on the sentence. That's the steps. The police usually get people and try to turn them informants right away. So when the police get them and turn the informants, the prosecutor may not know about it. So now the prosecutor don't know about it yet, but the police tell you, hey, we ain't going to take this evidence with you to the prosecutor if you go get somebody else. So now that's how your case can potentially get dropped. If the police tell you, we ain't going to go just take this to the prosecutor. We just need you to go get somebody. But let me tell you how they trick you. Once they get you to do it one time, they're going to get you to do it again. So now they're going to tell you, hey, you don't want to tell nobody that you told them so-and-so, so-and-so, because, you know, you know, they know. You know everybody thinking about it, but we t show them and we tell them that's going to be ass, Mr. Postman. Now, that incentivizes you to keep on telling for the police, whether you're on the books or off the books. But if the prosecutor potentially has a person that they're looking for or that they're looking to arrest, catch, indict, convict, or whatever, they may tell the police, hey, 
We're looking for evidence on this guy. You guys have any uh, human resources that can give us evidence on it? Sure. We got Jimmy over here. They go get Jimmy. When they go get Jimmy, next thing you know, they... Hey, Jimmy, we need you to find out what's going on or whatever that dude, whatever. You know him? And Jimmy got to go try to find the information. Y'all understand that. So it's like people are literally out here trying to get their charges dropped or trying to get their charges lowered when in reality you're going to keep doing this over and over and over because they're going to hold it over your head like a goddamn halo. So if you don't understand this, you won't understand it until you get into the situation or you won't understand it until somebody close to you get in the situation and then you see what actually happened because these people are literally not trying to go to jail but like i told y'all in the other videos people are not trying to go to jail so they tell but other people are not trying to go to jail so they kill i rather kill you than go to jail and this person i rather tell on you than go to jail two total different people with two total different logical reasons that they have in their mind but it's all the same rules and the same game. So that's all I gotta say for this video. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below, donate to the channel, put your thoughts down below. Make sure you hit the like button so you can beat the YouTube algorithm. And like I said, you guys just really gotta understand this information because I'm unbiased. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying that it's wrong. I understand that it's the law. That's what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Because once you hit 18, you cannot be ignorant of the law. But this is the law that don't nobody talk or know about. Because why would an informant come and expose themselves and say, hey, I'm an informant. I get people in trouble for a living. They not going to do that. So that's all I got to say for this video. See you guys on the next video when I talk about more 5K1 downward departures. Yeah. This video is for educational and entertainment use only. The views in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon.